speak for that knowledge. I don't look at so look, who's acquiring. No, no, because I, I know, I know, I know, I know people always trying to find racism. There is no racism. In fact, in fact, even even I'm supporting you. I say that. So why are you bringing up then? Even Dr. Craig Constantine, who is a professor in Rice University, he even said Islam is the Muhammad is the only man in history that spoke against racism. Okay, uh, Jesus did not. Heart as well. Yeah, exactly. So would you say exactly. most of, so like. Like, yeah, so two things. I was like, the submission, but that's something I think I could maybe get over. Okay, no. Oh, but then yeah, the yeah, second yeah. thing okay, is fine, the culture, fine. and I know the culture is to do with religion, but yes. there is a culture that is, it's like, it's so, it's, it, I, I think half of the culture is beautiful and wonderful, but half of the culture is like, it's, women are heavily critiqued, like, just critiqued by other Based girls. Based on what? Based on what? Just like, critiqued on. Uh, I knew mistakes. that was coming up. I know, I know, I know. I knew I knew that was mistakes coming up. that they make, and it's not. I, I know that people want the best for them. They're asking them, sister, sister, can you, like, do what's best? But I think that's difficult. Sometimes you get called, like, you know, you get told that you're. Just like your he women are heavily critiqued. Have you ever? Have you? Have the, the culture have nothing to do with Islam. Have you ever like spoken? Have, have, yeah. uh, um, have you ever spoken? Have, have you ever spoken? Have you ever spoken to a Muslim woman? Yeah, I have. That was lovely. That was like wonderful. People. Did they say that Islam oppressed? And by the way, I can't no, just. I don't think Islam oppresses them. I, I never fact, didn't say look, that. Look, let me give you studies as well. Let me give you studies. The majority of the reverts are women. Not many. I know, I know, like 80%. Yeah, in fact, yeah. In, in Swansea University, they say 6 out of 10, I think that it's increased now. So if Islam oppresses women, why are European women accepting Islam? Yeah. I didn't say that they did. So what's the point to become Muslim? <laughs> I'm not forcing you, there's no, there's, there's no force. Take your time, I, take your time. Okay, forgetting about, it, it is, it's the idea that before I was born, okay. I was nothing. What's to say that when I die, I'm not nothing? No, he's already you, answered that. No, already Allah answers that. Yeah, he, he's no, no, no. The that. Look, let's go back to the I basics. Know, but it, do you yeah. know the main thing? I figured okay. out. What? The main thing is my like spiritual yeah. feeling. Islam gives you. Look, look, Islam. Look, look, the beauty about Islam mm. is Islam aligns your sound intellect with a natural inclination. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you peace of mind. Yeah. Why? Because Islam means a submission to God's will, right? And Islam is also known as Deen al-Fitr. It is innate way of life. Yeah. Is the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? He said that every child is born in Deen al-Fitr, meaning mm. every child is born with the Muslim. state of Muslim, submit to the will of God. But his parents make him a Jew or a Christian or fire worshiper. So we as human beings, we're a product of environment. Yeah. But if we leave the external influences, all children will accept it as the Creator. But because of the society, because of the parents, they, uh, they, they, they become a Jew or an atheist, right? So when you, when you become a Muslim, you don't convert, you revert, you come back to your original state. You come back to your original state of submit to the one God alone. And that's the reason why, that's, do you get that understanding? Course, that's, understand look, yesterday, that. look, look, we were there, mashallah, yeah? Seven people took the Shahada yesterday in Stratford uh, Station. What was their feeling? Was they feel like wow, something wow. like it, it, it lifted off the burden. Yeah, all the burden, all the burdens you know. off, right? And then slowly you're going to learn how to pray. You know, we don't expect you to learn overnight. In fact, when the Prophet peace be upon him was sent to the Arabs, they were more worse than this society. They used to drink. They used to uh, they used to um, prostitute. They used to womanize. womanize. They used to bury the female infants alive, right? Yeah. They used to drink alcohol. But the Prophet peace be upon him, what was his da'wah? What was his call? Focusing on the oneness of God, strengthening your faith. You know, you have a, you have the afterlife to prepare. Then slowly, all of your habits will go away. Because when the Prophet peace be upon him, when he conveyed the message of Islam, the first thing he did not prohibit alcohol first time. What he did, he focused his da'wah, his his calling people to worshiping God alone. Don't worship idols. Don't worship creation. Worship God alone. And slowly, slowly, as your strength, as your faith gets strengthened. It was so easy for them to leave alcohol. And that's when Allah gives the final commandment in chapter 5, five verse 19 that intoxicants is prohibited. So when you become a Muslim, you know, you, you, you don't become like nobody's perfect. You're on your own journey. It's like, yeah, I'm not, I, like the rules of Islam, like, I feel like I already followed them just like. Um, I don't even mean to, I just have never, I just didn't grow up in a drinking house. You know what's amazing? Like, you know what's amazing? You know the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he said, I was sent to perfect good manners. So, yeah. good character. Good character, right? He, he came here to perfect good manners. Yeah. But we as Muslims believe that we do have some moral, comp uh, moral compass, that we do have some kindness, some mercy, right? But when you become a Muslim, you become a better person. Yeah? yeah? I, I don't know, you, do you have parents? Yeah, okay. 
So before you were uh, before you are you were a Muslim, you may be good to your parents. When you become a Muslim, you have to be a better daughter. You have to respect them even more. In fact, the Prophet said that paradise lies beneath the feet of your mothers. When you become a wife, you become a better wife. When a when a when a Muslim uh, uh, when a uh, when a uh, when a person becomes a Muslim as a man, he has to be a good husband. Because the Prophet peace be upon the best of you are those who are best to his wife, yeah. and I'm the best to my wife. So, Islam is a complete way of life. It teaches you even the basic stuff, how to clean yourself. You know, making sure that there's no urine on your clothes. This is the purity about Islam. It's not just going to the mosque five times a day like a ritual. It's a complete way of life. I think what you're saying has influenced me today. No and problem. I feel no problem. Like I don't get it. Read this. And I will. And I read will. the Quran. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I want to thank you for talking to me today. No I problem. It's a pleasure you, speaking to you. Sister. It's a pleasure speaking um, to you. But yeah. But, but I, I'm not saying like sure. okay, 100. percent I'm. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. I, I want to yeah. say thank you, but yeah. I'm not going to take anything like like personally or take it yeah. the wrong way. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So one more thing before I let you go. Uh, it's a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for taking your time. Uh, I know it, it was a bit long, but I do apologize. But you're asking so many questions, so that's why. Because uh, uh, usually I like to keep it short within 10 minutes. But because you're asking so many questions, uh, the discussion went long. But anyway, it's a pleasure speaking to you. I'll leave you one more, uh, one more thing. You know, if you know deep down that Islam is true, do not procrastinate. Because how many people left their homes and they don't come back? Because if you know deep down that Islam is true and you don't, you don't become a Muslim, what excuse can you give in front of your Lord? What excuse can you give? When you die, yeah. If you become a Muslim and you make the statement, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that I bear witness that there's nothing worth it to be worshipping the truth except Allah, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. If you leave the park right now and God forbid something happens to you, you're in an accident, you're guaranteed paradise. But if you leave this park and you know deep down Islam is true and you die upon that state knowing Islam is true, then there's a hellfire. I get that, but then I feel like that's the idea of fear politics. There has to be fear. Because we're, uh, because we're motivated by reward and punishment. Yeah. Fear I is a good thing. But I, I, I get that, but that wouldn't be the reason that I went into No, 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 that's fine. Because I'm like, no, no, that's not my point. In, like, in, fact, in fact, as Muslims, we should have hope, love and fear in God. Yeah, and so I not, get, just, yeah. not just fear. Because read, there's, there's read, an extreme read, sect, they believe in that. Read the Quran with, with your yeah, heart. Read the Quran, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go to Quran, do not try to find the uh, mistake. Yeah. Try to find guidance. Yeah, exactly. Because Ask Allah to guide you. Allah says, the way you come to me, that's the way I am. Yeah. Because people go and say, oh, exactly. let me put what I will say Quran to you is, is wrong. What I will say to you is... Uh, no, 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 yeah, I, yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. No, it's an advice. Yeah. What, what yeah. I will say to you, Mimi, right? It's only Allah who guides you, Mimi. We cannot force you. Allah says, فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ لَسْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِمُصَيْتِرْ That our job is to remind, our job is to convey the message. But the guidance belongs to Allah. So if Allah wants to guide you, He'll guide you. If Allah wants to misguide you, then who else would, would, would guide you? So we can only convey the message of Islam. But notice this, Mimi. There is a there is day of judgment. And we will all be accountable in front of Allah. Right? Of our faith, of our deeds. And you know, if you know deep down that Islam is true, you don't take your shahada, you know what I'm really scared about for you, Mimi? We may have to testify against you. We want to testify for you on the day of judgment. So what I would advise you, Mimi, read the Quran. If you know deep down Islam is true, do not procrastinate. It's very easy to become Muslim. You just need someone to, uh, to, to witness. And you just have to say there's none worth to be worshipped in truth except Allah and Muhammad's messenger of Allah. However, it has to come from your own will. You can't be forced. As Allah says in the Quran in chapter 2 verse 256, La There is no compulsion in religion. So we cannot force you. However, the message has been conveyed to you. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you to the truth. Well, thank you for, for taking your time. Yeah. And uh, you have a copy of the Quran, yeah? yeah, yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good thank day. You, yeah. Take care. Have a good have day. A good day. Take care. Take care.